So today we have a wonderful testimony for you. Without further ado, let's welcome James and Esther. Let's give them a big hand. Hallelujah, James and Esther. Come on, James and Esther. Hi church, my name is James and this is my lovely wife, Esther. We want to share with you how we found love in the house of God. I was born in, with a condition called scoliosis, which means uh, the curved spine. My childhood memories consist mostly of going in and out of hospitals with multiple corrective surgeries to try to prevent the curvature from getting worse. I remember one year in primary school, I had to be hospitalized for half a year after the surgery and even had to take the exam inside the hospital. I grew up with a very low self-esteem and constantly had suicidal thoughts, wishing I'd never been born. Little did I realize God had great plans for me. In 1993, my younger brother and I were shopping at Orchard Road and two friendly people from City Harvest Church approached us and invited us to church. We attended our very first service at Western Stanford Hotel in October 1993. I remember feeling that the presence of God was so strong in the place and both my brother and myself, we gave our hearts to Jesus then and then and we've been here ever since for 21 years. The love of God totally turned my life around. I found joy and purpose in living. Serving in the usher ministry in my early years in church helped me to overcome my low self-esteem. Pastor Kong's teachings over the years have really shaped me to be the person I am today. When I was in primary school, my parents sent me off to live with my grandparents and my aunt, and my brother remained with them. At that young age, I didn't understand why I was sent away and felt hurt and rejected by my parents. I could not really communicate with my grandparents and my aunt. Feeling hurt and lonely, I often had suicidal thoughts. Out of depression, I would spend hours thinking of various ways to kill myself and how to die a beautiful death. However, by the grace of God, I never had the guts to end my own life. I had an old neighbor who was quite deaf and would often blast sermons from his radio. I could not comprehend the messages because of the thick American accent, but I often heard the word God being mentioned. I thought somehow God would care to listen to me. So I started to talk to God and shared all my fears and my dreams with him. As time passed, I came to believe in His existence. I accepted Jesus Christ when I was in junior college, but due to parental objection, I was not allowed to go to church. The turning point came when a friend brought me to City Harvest Church during my uni days. After I experienced the tangible presence of God, I decided to take a step of faith to seek my mom's consent to attend church regularly. And after two and a half years of parental objection, I finally got my breakthrough. Pastor Kong would encourage us to write our prayer requests on the offering envelopes when we gave to the offering. My first prayer request was the salvation of my family. For the past two and a half years, I prayed for an opportunity to share with my parents about God's goodness. In the year 2000, my mom responded to the altar call here in City Harvest. And nine months later, my dad too accepted Christ. Praise the Lord. Today, both my parents are happily and faithfully serving in City Harvest as counsellors to prison inmates giving Bible study, and doing follow-up work. Praise the Lord. My second request was to find a good partner. Little did I know that my quest to find my best friend and soulmate would take 12 long years. 
Uh, Esther and I first met in 1997 while serving in the Asher ministry. I was uh, Team IC and she was my assistant. So we served together every week back then, but uh, there wasn't any sparks at all. We moved on to other ministries, but we meet up occasionally uh, to catch up over a meal. And then in uh, September 2009, after 12 years of friendship, a personal crisis created a window of opportunity for us to support and encourage each other. Back then, I was going through depression at the lowest point in my life. Esther was there for me as a friend, providing a listening ear, encouraging me, and standing by me. From that strong friendship, it developed into love. And it dawned on us, the life partner we were searching for was just right in front of us. We got married a year later in 2010, December. By the grace of God, our journey as a married couple has been an extremely happy one. This is also due to Pastor Kong's teaching over the years about manhood and Christ-likeness are synonymous and how to make marriage work. I will always remember when Pastor Kong shared about how God convicted him to buy a pair of shoes for son, which she really liked. But they were really poor then, so he couldn't afford it. But God told him that son had given so much to follow him and that taking care of son was his God-given responsibility. Through that incident, I realized that if a husband takes care of his wife and showers her with love, that God will prosper the marriage. Pastor Kong also taught us to continue the dating and the romance after the wedding day, to look for creative ways to celebrate your love, to do loving actions and loving feelings will follow, to communicate, 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 and to tell your wife every day that you love her, last but not least, and to love is to give at the expense of self. These teachings have helped us build a happy and strong marriage. After being married for three years, we hardly ever quarrel because we always try to communicate in love to each other on a daily basis. City Harvest Church is our home and our spiritual family, and this is where we are planted where we found purpose, where we found love. We want to thank Pastor Kong and Sun for all the years of teaching, showing us by example what it means to love God wholeheartedly, to love people fervently. You are our spiritual family, and we will love you and stand with you no matter what. We also want to thank our leaders, Pastor Ming, John Lam, Vincent, and all our other leaders over the past many, many years that we've been in this great family. We have played such an important part in our journey. Last but not least, we want to give all the glory to Jesus. It's because of Him that all things are possible. If God can do it for someone like me and Esther, God can do it for anyone. Praise God. Praise the Lord. James been in church 21 years. Yes. Yes, Pastor. 93. Yes, since 93. And you're involved in the guitar ministry as well, right? Yeah, now I'm in the guitar ministry. Yeah, and, and I always see you doing ushering, everything. And, and of course, your wife Esther is a fantastic dramatist. Yeah, she's the best. So is she, it, <laughs> I'm her biggest fan. Biggest fan. So is, is she a drama queen at home? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> what a really good husband. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Let's give James and Esther a big round of applause. 